Well, we saw gusty winds last night and we also saw snow in the Sierra. A weather picture from Alpine Meadows showing the snow falling nearly two feet of fresh powder at Alpine Meadows. And let's take a look at another weather picture. This one courtesy of Squaw Valley. You can see all the white powder on the trees on the ground. Nearly a foot of snow here and a third weather picture from Heavenly Ski Resorts where they saw about a half a foot of fresh snow. You can see the road is a little clear, but on the side of the road we do have the powder. Let's take a look at Storm Tracker 4 radar right now. Snow ongoing in South Lake Tahoe, Truckee. You can see the rain snow line here at about 5,000 feet, so rain and plaster fill. We are going to continue to see this rain and snow through the overnight hours. Here's a look at our satellite and radar picture. You can see more showers rotating on the backside of this low pressure system. We're not really seeing anything here locally except for cloud cover. We are getting some wraparound cloud cover over the peninsula at this hour, but this area of low pressure is going to continue to die down to the south and then to the east as we move overnight. So we'll be seeing calmer conditions here locally with a few lingering showers in the Sierra. So let's take a look at future cast for the 8 o'clock hour tonight, continuing with that rain snow mix. Again, about 5,000 feet is where you're going to start to see snow. Midnight hour, same thing, but notice the Bay Area largely in the clear, a little bit of cloud cover here locally. The snow shower is continuing into the 5 o'clock hour tomorrow morning. And then as we move through the later morning hours, it'll become a little bit more spotty but it looks like into the afternoon we'll start to see clearer conditions in the Sierra. Here locally, I mentioned that cloud cover. This is the San Mateo Bridge. You can see some of that cloud cover rotating through the peninsula right now. Temperatures have certainly been affected out there today. Quite chilly actually near the coastline, also for our Bay Shores, only in the upper 50s for the South Bay. Upper 50s, low 60s for the most part for the North Bay. It is going to be a chilly night tonight. A frost advisory has already been issued for the North Bay Valley. As you see, the area is highlighted in blue here on your screen from 1 to 9 o'clock Wednesday. We're going to be seeing temperatures in the 30s in the North Bay. Frosty windshields, so give yourself some extra time out the door tomorrow morning in the North Bay. Near the coastline, low 40s in Daly City and Half Moon Bay. 43 also in Livermore, 44 in Sunnyvale. So certainly a chilly morning. Also for the afternoon, not going to rebound all that much. Very similar to today with the upper 50s and low 60s for tomorrow afternoon. Your extended forecast, though, we will start to warm up through the rest of the work week, warming into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's good news for you trick-or-treaters for Thursday evening. I'm going to have that trick-or-treating forecast coming up for all portions of the Bay Area in just a bit.